<laughs> my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor and myeloma cancer coach. Welcome to the blog post regarding talking about a, a somewhat complicated word, bioavailability, uh, the most bioavailable curcumin formulas. Several things. First and foremost, curcumin has been um, shown hundreds of studies showing that curcumin can kill, is cytotoxic to, many different forms of cancers. In this case, because I'm a myeloma survivor and myeloma cancer coach, I'm talking about multiple myeloma. Curcumin kills myeloma. Great. Now, the next question is, fine, what's the dose? The challenge there is that many of the studies, uh, some studies that I link in blog posts and that are online, talk about several things. Either a specific to um, dosing regimen, a time and dose dependent manner, meaning the more you take for the longer you take, the, 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 the time dependent manner, simply saying that it kills uh, myeloma cells, the more of it you take, the longer you take, the longer you take it. The challenge there is that we need numbers. We're not doctors. We don't know what's going on. Okay, then people talk about uh, grams. First and foremost, the equation, uh, 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. So taking two grams, three grams, four grams, eight grams, many studies talk about eight grams of curcumin. That's a lot of curcumin. Next challenge. Uh, your average everyday curcumin, just from the simple unadulterated, untreated formula, is traditionally, um, annoyingly, not absorbable in your bloodstream. Just because you take a capsule, gets into your stomach, the key is for how much of that curcumin gets into your bloodstream. That's the term bioavailability, what's absorbable. Many, uh, a growing number of formulas of curcumin now have figured out how to make curcumin, curcuminoids, more absorbable. This post talks about uh, lists uh, a number of specific formulas and um, the number of times, uh, 10 times, 20 times, the bioavailability when compared to average unadulterated curcumin. As an example, the formula that I, that I take, it's, it, it, it was um, bioavailable back in the day when I began years ago supplementing with it. I just haven't changed. Things are going well for me. I've been in complete remission since 99. I don't want to rock the boat. Life extension, super bio curcumin is I think seven or eight times the bioavailability of plain curcumin. At the time, that was great. Now, there are many cur curcumin formulas. I will list several. Novasol. Uh, has the greatest bioavailability, according to this article, 185 times compared to unformulated curcumin. Curcu curcuin, uh, Longvidia, Longvida, Longvida, Mariva, uh, I know that many of you uh, have heard of Mariva. Uh, BCM95, 27 times. Curcumin C3 complex plus bioprene uh, black pepper. Um, it reportedly enhances the efficacy, uh, black pepper, in the formula, enhances the efficacy. Great. Uh, and, and then, of course, thera, theracumin, 16 times. My point only is that <clears throat> um, you, you, sh you, the patient, should, should read the label. Um, I'm sure they'll talk about it in marketing materials, etc. Uh, so to ask what dose do we take largely depends on um, the bioavailability of the formula that you yourself are taking. There's, there's no one clear answer. 
So in, in my case, as an example, because I'm in remission, I take a maintenance dose. I take a low dose. One capsule of my uh, formula is 400 milligrams. I'm fine with that. I take resveratrol, I take green tea extract, I take omega-3 fatty acids as well, so I see no need to mega dose. If your, if your myeloma is active, you might think differently. That's what this blog post is about. If you have any questions, excuse me, scroll down the page, um, fire off a question or a comment, I will reply to you ASAP. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Talk to you soon.